everyone, James Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. Now today's video, I have a very special surprise for you and me. I got my hands on one of the Wigs and Graces mystery boxes. It's this right here. Oh, <gasps> mystery. What's inside? <gasps> it's a mystery. So, it says on the side, hey, and wigsandgrace.com, and then Wigs and Grace on the top. So, we're gonna open this up and see what magical things bestow upon this inside. We're gonna open this up and see what magical things are on the inside. <gasps> Ooh. I hit my dog with the thing. <laughs> what fell on you, Puff? Oh, okay, it's, um, it looks like a wig care guy. All right, that's how it looks. Let me open it up and it gives you some wig care maintenance. Oh yeah, and it gives you some instructions on how to set some hair. So you're all prepared when you get your wig from Wigs and Grace. That's very thoughtful, Gloria. You also get a Wigs and Grace sticker and Gloria's business card. What we all want to know is, what did I get for a wig? Now the cool thing about this is that you could pick between like different options for different color ranges you might get. So I picked, was it light to medium? I picked light to medium. Now the time has come to see what I got in my mystery box. Oh yeah, and she gave me a wig cap too, that's nice. Thanks Gloria. Okay, let's see what is inside. I'm so excited you guys, oh my God. Peel away the paper. Fold it up like a burrito, I appreciate that. Here we go. Okay. One down. Okay. Let us see. Ooh. Hmm, it's like a dishwater blonde. Okay, get that out of here. I can work with that. That's a pretty color and they'll look good on me. And I also like this ringlet setting pattern. I don't even have to set it now. Hmm. Let's put her on and get a good view at her. This is gonna look really pretty when I tease it out. This is actually a really fun color. Not something I'd normally pick for myself, which is also not such a bad thing. Now I'm gonna transform this wig on camera for you folks. So, let me just get her all blocked off. Okay, she's all blocked off. Now, one more thing. Also, what was thrown inside that bag was a Wigs and Grace tote bag. Yeah. <laughs> I love these things. They're actually really, really spacious. I usually keep all my like hair supplies and this stuff, like my rollers and everything. They're great for that. All right, let's start this transformation. Now, I actually really like this setting pattern on this wig already, so I don't really think I'm gonna recurl it because it's already really pretty curls. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start teasing it. Got a tease going out so far. I'm gonna do it all around the face of the head and then do a little bit of the back and then do the rest off camera. Cause y'all see me tease a wig already before. Millions and millions of times now. And you may notice me using a different brush than I normally do to tease out my hair. Well, I misplaced my rat tail comb. So I'm just using a brush that I can know I can tease with. Bristle brushes work too. I normally like my rat tail comb because I can really like get on in there. And so I'm gonna start doing the back. What I'm gonna do is I'm pulling forward the little elastic here in the back and I'm gonna connect that under the chin just so we have more security back here. Keeps the hair flat against the head, you know? All right, do a little bit of the back section here. And my voice sounds a little different. It's because I'm currently battling a cold right now. I don't know what it is. It's like 90 degrees outside and I'm sitting here with a cold. All right, so I got the entire crown teased. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do in rows going down, teasing the hair, but I'm gonna do the off of camera because you've already seen me do that a million times already. So I'm gonna pop right back as soon as the hair's all teased out and we'll begin our brush out. Be right back. Welcome back. It is all teased out. I am so excited to start styling this thing out, guys, okay? So here we go. Let's start our brush out. Right now, we're just gonna look for little places we might have missed in our teasing, because it's very possible to do so. And try and pull out any knots, because the last thing you want to do is screw up your entire brush out because you catch a real nasty knot. <sighs> okay, let us begin. Okay, I like that. It created a part, so that's what I'm gonna work with here. A little part here. Thank you. 
Now this is actually the second time I've ever like got my hands on a Wigs and Grace wigs. The first time was actually in that video I did with Natalie Wynn. The purple wig we were styling was a Wigs and Grace wig. And I think that one turned out sickening. Be sure and check out her latest video where she's wearing it as Baltimore, Maryland, the gender drag extraordinaire. As far as Gloria Davina goes, the gal that runs Wigs and Grace, she is the nothing but completely sweet and helpful to me throughout my journey and learning how to style wigs and perfect my wig styling. Like what I love about her is she is so humble and she is so willing to help anybody. And I really appreciate that. Like she's not a about it. She doesn't withhold information from me or anything. And what I'm doing right here is I'm paying attention to little bits here. Like you'll see like some of the hair circle up like in certain sections. That means that like the teasing is on the verge of becoming a knot. If you brush through it, you can create a knot. So just go through the end of your comb and pull it through just to get all the hair going, you know, one direction. All right, you see, there's a hole right here. Going through at the end of our comb, we're just gonna dig in that a little bit and pull out the offending hairs. <sighs> As I look over this hair, I'm trying to place what color hair this would be. I feel like it's like an ash blonde. On the camera, it just looks gray, but in person, ash blonde would probably be the color this is. And I just realized I put this frame way too close, so I'm gonna back it up a bit, okay? I'll be right back. Back, back, backing it up. I'm the queen of teasing hair, now I'm backing it up. Ah, I'm so hip, holy sh All right, now it's just the easy part. We go through with our blow dryer and our hairspray and just start smoothing it down. Get it nice and pretty. And girl, I just wanna do a transformation today because I really don't have that much time today. I am on a time crunch this whole week and I wanted to get you guys a video. I'm gonna be going to Palm Springs this weekend. I cannot wait to see all you folks in Palm Springs. I'm gonna be at two cans. And if this video comes out after that, well, be glad you saw me. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of the smoothing off of camera and I'll be right back. Welcome back. This is the final result. Wow, Gloria, this is actually really, really cute. <laughs> and this is just styling the hair straight as it came from the bag. Like this is a really pretty wavy set. I have to say, I am very pleased with this mystery box I got from Wigs and Grace. And this color is not the one I normally would get for myself. Like on camera, it looks kind of gray, like silver, but in person, it's more of like an ash blonde. It's really weird. Like under lights, it's like, whoo, ice goddess. Now I just finished this hair off with my magical wig spray, the Midwest morning after. Leaving this hair smelling just like Cream soda. Thanks, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. <laughs> Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. If you notice me styling this wig, I've learned quite a few new techniques. <laughs> I think I'm getting better and better at this, guys. And don't forget, I do have my new channel, Queens of the Stream, with me and Sylvia Nix, where we talk about pop culture and wrestling. So those of you who miss Queens of the Ring, be sure and subscribe to the new channel. That's where they are. Thank you all so much for watching my video and thank you Gloria Divina for having your fabulous wig company. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Click here and watch you do a triple stack wig using Fashion Nova wigs and a wig I found that's five years old. Or subscribe to my new channel, Queens of the Stream, where we have thoughts on pop with me and Sylvia Nix where we just discuss big girls and music. You don't want to miss it. So come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll take you to a cabin in the woods and read for the Necronomicon. Plata barata nick too. So click it or I'll throw your soul. <laughs>